Oh my God, it's great. There are, uh, you know, so many of these um, guys from uh, com- comedians that that I just miss. Yeah, I know. On a daily basis, something comes up. Yeah, and I'm like, fucking Otto was so goddamn funny. I just was talking the other day about um, when he would come in the studio and he'd be talking. He's Otto just talking to us. Yeah. And George, he had George, and George would just be reading the paper. Like, and it wasn't, it wasn't like, hey, Otto, do something with George or something. He's talking as Otto, not even thinking yeah. about what he does for a living with this fucking puppet. And as he's talking to us, you'd look over and and George is reading the newspaper. Like he had a he had to think about it's, what he was doing with it. It was puppet. literally a Twilight Zone yes. Tales from the Crypt episode with Otto and George where it was like Yes. Where you it, it, he pushed it to a point where you would go, is that fucking puppet alive? Yeah, now or it's does getting he believe that it's alive. Like something's odd. Or is he so fucking intuitive right. He knows how to fuck with everyone in the room. It's so making the puppet look alive. But then, when, at the towards the end, when he would go on stage, and the pu- I don't know if he did this all the time, but when I saw him in the later years, when he would go on stage, and the puppet would go, when he would start bombing, and the puppet would go, "What are you fucking nervous, you loser?" Oh yeah, he would start doing like the <laughs> George would fucking. Bashed the shit out of Otto in a way that other ventriloquists didn't do. It. Other ventriloquists would do it, but not like they were good natured about it. Oh. George was mean to Otto. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if he ever thought the puppet was alive. Like I, I don't no, not, like, I don't think he was that crazy. Like, can I spend some time? No, on no, the no. I'm him? not saying. I'm not. I'm not saying. <laughs> he, he was just throwing just, the fucking. Yeah. He was but throwing I think the bag. He loved yeah. when people would look and and the puppet had a whole life of his own and and he enjoyed that. I think he really enjoyed being able to portray it like that. I don't think he thought the puppet was alive. I'm just saying, out of every ventriloquist I've ever met in this business, that was the closest to Twilight Zone, Twilight Zone that I've yeah, ever yeah. seen, where I was like... Or magic, which it was... Yes, oh, was that magic, good? Magic. I remember, uh, speaking of Patrice, we were doing the Nasty Show in Montreal, and uh, Otto and George were on stage, and Patrice, we were down in whatever that theater, I don't know, those concrete hallways, cinder block hallways, so everything you heard in the hallway echoed back to the green room. Oh, shit. And Patrice was upstairs watching Otto and George, and all of a sudden we hear Patrice coming down, and we hear the fucking laugh. <laughs> yeah, that echoing in a hall stairwell yeah. must be frightening. Yeah, and it's bouncing off the walls, and he comes in the green room, and he's he's like almost crying, laughing. What are you laughing at? What's so funny? And he goes, he goes, God damn, I don't, don't even try <laughs> to not let you see him move his mouth. This motherfucker just talks. <laughs> That was the greatest part of it, too. Like, any puppet act, ventriloquism, it's part of it is the jokes and everything and the puppet and the personalities and everything and the interaction. But the whole other part is that everyone's looking going, oh, he's got a P. He says a P and you can yeah. kind of see his lips move. <laughs> Otto took all that out of the mix. And you and, and people still looked at the puppet. Yes! Like it was, people still looked yes. at the puppet. They just, when, when he would be like, you know, George would be like, oh, look, there's two ch- Chinese people down. And, and he'd be like, oh, George, stop that. He'd tug on his pants. No, don't be mean to the people. Yeah. And you're like, you see his mouth moving? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's the guy being mean to people. Why, why would you even think it's the puppet? He used to hate when I'd bring him on. He's so nice, and then the puppet was so mean. I would do it to annoy him, but I would always introduce him as Otto with his wooden buddy, George. <laughs> he, he hated when I would refer to George as his wooden buddy. <laughs> wooden buddy? Worst thing you could say. Oh, he hated it. Ventriloquism. Yeah, he really d- despised oh, it. Oh, the whole part is that it's uh, got a personality and it's living. Wooden it's buddy is just so, it's, it's just so good natured, his little uh, wooden yeah. buddy. Wooden buddy. Ooh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, gonna, that's my uh, arguably my favorite Seinfeld bit of all time is about the ventriloquist dummy. And he goes, That ventriloquist dummy, it's oh, yeah, very yeah. perverted. Yeah, He's yeah. always talking about how his head can turn all the way around. There's always a sawdust joke in there. Talks about taking the women back to the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he's there, and then his little legs just dangle there. <laughs> That's a great bit, man. I never saw that episode. Oh, no. I've seen almost it's no Seinfeld. Episode. It's an episode. It is, it is right? Yeah, you I don't, I don't, don't watch a no. lot of things that it's involve so comedians. I've seen moments of it, but no. Oh, dude, you, you know, gotta watch. I didn't love it. What I've seen is... I not want to be influenced. And I respect the writing. I think the, the obviously the, the story structure, but I just never really. It's all like yeah. There were so many really good writers and directors on that, but you could tell when Larry David left the show. 
yeah. that, that season that he was gone or so. I think he left after seven. Yeah, but he yeah, came he's back gone for, for eight and nine. nine. Did he? No, 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 he came he back came for the, back for the finale, 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 which is not great. Which isn't good. But but I mean, how are you going to wrap that up? They right. Just, it was like, let's put everyone that was ever in yeah. the show in the yeah. show, and we'll just say goodbye. Eight and nine have their moments. Yeah. They have some great episodes. The, oh, the yeah, The Note. Burning is, is in that one. Which one? The Note. Is that in the, No, that might be. You ever see the Elaine dancing? That's the an eight. dancing one is in eight. Is that is yeah, hilariously yeah. funny. Yeah, the little kicks. That's funny. Little kick, little kicks. <laughs> she had such a problem doing that. You, you probably know. Like yeah. she, she didn't want to look stupid. Like, like for really? everything her character was, she didn't just want to look like she was so oblivious to something that she would think that was good. Right. And she didn't really want to do it. And you know, Larry is gonna fucking make you do it. It's so or no, he wasn't. No, even he wasn't there at that point. I guess Jerry at that point had enough juice going. Get out there and yeah. tell you little kick. It's That's very popular. An one. Yeah, it's it's everyone knows yeah. about it. Yeah. So yeah, George goes, Saul Lane dance, and, uh, and then Jerry goes, Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Did she oh, do no. the little kicks with the thumbs? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Like to think up a dance this bad is it's, hilarious. Look at how good is she, dude. And she just goes, like, I'll get things started at a party, like thinking everyone's gonna join in, and they're horrified that she's doing this it's incredible horrible dance. Look at George. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Great. Holy Moses. Yeah. <laughs> That's the episode that ends with her and um, uh, Jerry Stiller in the police station, which which are the best Seinfeld bloopers where he's going, he's going, oh, yeah. And you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? <laughs> it was also the, the, that was the bootleg episode. Yeah. Where Jerry puts her dancing at the end of. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen any work like this. Oh, it's like they would always tie yeah. every storyline, and that's like kind of yeah. the the part of the show that was amazing is taking three different storylines. Because sometimes you, you you think about a Seinfeld storyline and you go, "Oh, that was hilarious," and then you realize two other hilarious storylines were in the yeah. same episode. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, like they and then they all they brought it together at the end. Dude, the burning episode, which is in I think season nine, which is. David, a, a, a David absent episode, but when it's like, it's it's putty with the Christian rock. Oh God! It's the it's whole not... thing with with Elaine <laughs> when she's doing the devil stuff. <laughs> ah, the it's devil. Kramer going in and doing the uh, laugh factory. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Some of his one. best work is Kramer. Yeah, no, he's go when he's going in, he has to do the medical thing where he's like, where they have to pretend they have a disease. Oh, that the they have the disease. Doctor studying. And he's like acting. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's really trying to put across he the lights a cigarette. Chlamydia or something. He was a coquettish haberdasher. That it's George <laughs> leaving every every when he gets a good joke off and he goes that's it for me and he's leaving every I'm out like a comedian yeah yeah that's it for me good night yeah he's in a meeting at work it's, and he God never leaves on a high it. note he would always say something that everyone would laugh at and then he'd say something else and it was like uh, uh. Yeah, yeah so then when he said something funny he's just like I'm out and he'd leave that's it for me <laughs> so and then yeah when his boss goes George lately. You've been really on, and you've <laughs> left me wanting more. <laughs> <laughs> Just shove it right in your face. Oh, so good. Ah, shit, God it's good damn. stuff. You know, they don't make shows like that anymore. They don't anymore. But uh, I'm a fan of uh, Call Your Mom with Kira Sedgwick. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you ever see that? No. <laughs> Kira Sedgwick. One of the worst Sedgwick. It's one of the worst. Uh, I almost said one of the worst Sedgwick vehicles. <laughs>